Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Liam and this is Grammar Simple, the channel that makes English grammar simple. Today we have an intermediate lesson for you. We are going to be talking about the indicative mood. This is the first of three videos about the three types of moods in English. The indicative mood, the imperative mood, and the subjunctive mood. So stay tuned for future videos about the three moods in English. If you want to learn English grammar, stay tuned. Okay, the indicative mood for statements and questions. Let's begin. There are three moods in English. The indicative mood, the imperative mood, the subjunctive mood. Three moods in English. Indicative, imperative, subjunctive. A mood is similar to a mode or a category. Think of modes in your uh, TV, kind of like an input. There's different modes you can choose for screens, okay? A mode, a mood, a category, these are similar. It is not a mood like happy or sad, right? Or a good mood, a bad mood. It's more like a category. A mood is the form a verb takes to show how the sentence is to be understood by the listener. This can be a fact or opinion. In this case, the indicative mood talks about facts or opinions. If I want you to understand a fact or an opinion, I will speak in the indicative mood so that you understand what I am talking about is a fact or an opinion. This can be a command or a request. The imperative mood shows commands or requests. And this can be conditionality or more abstract ideas. The subjunctive mood. Basically, a mood shows when a verb is expressing something, different things. This video will only discuss the indicative mood. Look out for my two other videos about the two other moods in English. Coming soon. The indicative mood expresses facts and opinions, like I previously said. This can be statements about facts and opinions. This can be questions about facts and opinions. The indicative mood is 
the most common mood in English. Actually, so far in my video, I have been using the indicative mood in probably all of my sentences I am speaking to you. The indicative mood is very, very common, the most common. Let's look at some examples. My name is Liam. Very simple. This is the indicative mood. It is a statement about a fact. My name is Liam. It's true. Grammar Simple is my YouTube channel. This is also true. It's a fact. So these are statements. They state something or they declare something. A fact, an opinion. Therefore, they are in the indicative mood. More examples. Canada, my home country, is in the north. It's very cold in the winter. Yeah, getting cold. People play soccer all over the world. Soccer is the most popular sport globally. I prefer basketball over soccer. I think basketball is more exciting. Sorry if you like soccer more. My friend plays electric guitar. He used to be in a band. He's really good. Hey, Brendan. <laughs> My dog chased a bunny yesterday. He didn't catch it. I have never been to Europe. I am planning on going to Scotland next summer. I still have some family living in Scotland. So these are all statements. Yeah. They are facts or opinions. My friend plays electric guitar. I think basketball is more exciting than soccer or other sports. This is a fact. This is an opinion. The indicative mood is also used to ask questions about facts or opinions. Where is Canada? Canada is in the north. What is the temperature like in the winter? It's very cold in Canada. What is the most popular sport in the world? Soccer. Did your friend used to play in a band? Yes, my friend used to play in a band. What instrument does he play? 
my friend plays electric guitar. So these are all questions and answers. Remember, the indicative mood is the most basic mood. Sometimes it is called the baseline mood, the foundation mood. It is the most common. That's why it is the basic baseline foundational mood. It's the most common mood that we speak in English all the time. Any statement or question about facts or opinions uses the indicative mood. Next, watch my video about the imperative mood. Okay. Is this sentence about a fact or opinion? What do you think? I say to you, watch my video about the imperative mood. Well, it's not a fact. And it's not an opinion. What is it? It is a command or suggestion. So this sentence uses the imperative mood. So watch my video about the imperative mood next. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this video with a friend if you think they need help with the indicative mood. My name is Liam. This is Grammar Simple, the channel that makes English grammar simple. I will see you next time. Bye.